guys welcome back so as i already mentioned about this tool in the preview video so uh, this tool helps us to generate password list if we have some basic idea about the victim so in this video let's discuss about that tool so to uh, run that tool firstly the tool must be installed in your kali linux operating system so for that open terminal and just enter the command git clone url so as you can see this this is the url so uh, git clone is nothing but we are trying to download this tool using the github link so that is the reason we use the command git clone and the link so after entering this command just click on enter so as you can see for me here destination path cup already exists it means that i already installed uh, this framework in my operating system so that is the reason for me it's showing already exist but for you it gets installed in your operating system and later you can use it so after installing this cup dot uh, file in your operating system i mean in your terminal uh, then just uh, enter the command ls and just list it out so as i already said in the previous video ls stands for list so as you can see here cup so the directory cup has installed in your system now so for then we need to change our directory to cup for that the command used is cd and next directory name cup and just click on enter so as you can see here uh, the directory has changed to cup now again list it out uh, so that we can see what are the different files present in this cup folder so as you can see here this is a tool required to run this framework so uh, for me it's green in color it means that uh, all the required permissions to run this tool are given to that tool so for you also to appear this in green color enter the command chmod plus x cup dot pipe so if you enter this command the meaning of this command is uh, it gives all the required permissions to this uh, tool to run in our system after entering this command just click on enter so now all the required permissions to cup dot pipe file has been given so now again list it out so now for you also this cup dot pipe uh, file will be in green color it means all the required permissions are given to that file so now the next task is we need to run this file so to run that file the command used is dot slash cupp cup dot pipe and just click on enter so as you can see here cup dot pipe file i mean tool has started so cup stands for common user password profiler so there are many arguments here as you can see so if you don't have any idea of how to use this tool then if you enter h then all the uh, arguments required arguments to run this tool will be shown to you and next is i i stands for interactive interactive questions for user passwords profiling so this is the uh, argument which we are going to use in this video to create a password list with some basic info about the user so as such there are many arguments here have a look at that so now what the what is the thing we need to do is enter the command dot slash cup dot pi and next hyphen i and just click on enter so as you can see here uh, the tool has started insert the information about the victim to make a dictionary so we need to give some basic information about the victim so that it can make a password list out of that information if you don't know all the info just hit enter when asked so for example if you don't know some questions which was asked by it then you just click on enter so for example first name uh, let me give some random name john surname uh let me do c nickname some bubbly and it of birth so you can do anything for now i'm skipping so partner's name partner's nickname partner's birthday so i'm skipping all those things you can if you know the information about any particular victim you can just enter all the details here child's name child's nickname child's birth date pet's name company name and after completing this Uh, do you want to add any keywords about the victim so if you want to additionally add any other keywords like his car number his bike number or any other additional details which you think uh, must be included in the password list you can just enter them for example if i give why it means yes then please enter the words separated by comma that is hacker ju so as such you need to enter the words separated by commas so this is how to create a password list with some basic info 
uh, if you want you can add some words here related to the victim or else you can just skip it do you want to add special characters at the end of the word so generally many of them use some special characters like at the rate of hash dollars so as such so better to uh, give yes to this command because it adds some special characters at the end of the words and just hit on enter next do you want to add some random numbers at the end of the words yes obviously and just click on enter so leave mode and just uh, simply click on enter so as you can see now making a dictionary sorting list and removing duplicates uh, saving dictionary to john.txt and counting so totally uh, 20900 words are created by the information i have given as you can see here i just give some information i skipped most of the questions even though 20900 words are generated so if you give all the information it generates lots of words and those can be used for any brute force attack so for example if you want to see that words how what are those passwords just enter the command ls and as you can see here john.txt just enter the command cat jhon.txt i mean the file name and just click on enter so as you can see here these are the different passwords created by this tool so as such you can create a, a password of any user if you have some basic idea about him